What that is that we have a car over here that the individual could run back and forth. I don't see I don't see that many people coming in and requesting records from the past. That would be on an, on an occasional basis. For us to take it end up expecting town citizens to run between this building, the assessor's office, and the town well, clerk and doing their business is is probably asking much more of the community than just asking one individual to go back and seek records periodically, probably once or twice a month or whatever, even if it's once a week. That's not excessive to me. Almost on a daily basis, she deals with money from people. That's that. That's my issue. That's, it's not. The money could be, well, having the money here, and you have the collector, is an excellent opportunity to take and centralize right away. <laughs> Just curious, has anybody talked to Carol about working? I'm just throwing it out. That, that, you know, this we, is, we should take it under advisement. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it's, it's, it's up to so the... So then we can get input back from people who would be affected by the move. Right. That's a good idea. I just got a question. Yes, sir. If the board feels that the town is going to save money, yeah. why, would you, why would you take the opinion on who's going to get moved? Well, if it's sense. a temporary I mean, representing the right. town, if it's a temporary move, though, we want her input. Well, but if you're going to save money, what is the difference? You're going to move her. It's it's like anything else. It's it's like you know, any business. If they're going downhill, they make cuts. They make moves. You have to stand up and say, okay, look, we can save this much. Doesn't money. mean we can't ask her her opinion. But they're just pro pro. And then you get well, we can't do this. We can't do that. I mean, you know, it's crazy the way you the way you do things. Thank you. Any other old business? I yes. think consolidating is the way for the town to go. Consolidating the sooner the better, the cheaper. Oh, absolutely. That's, but that's you know, key. there's a lot. I mean, to move them here and then to move them again in six months. Give you more than six months. Well, six months, a year, whatever. Year and a half. So we, in the meantime, we need to renegotiate our lease here until. Because our lease is up in June. I think we ought to think about um, trying to negotiate it. Um, I doubt if they'll do month by month, but for the shortest terms period uh, that they'll allow. Well, since we're having this discussion, I hate to open a new front, but uh, there is an offer that has <coughs> been discussed. It has, there's nothing firm, it hasn't been made, there's no numbers, mm -hmm. but. Um, having the town sign a short-term lease, probably one year, from July 1 to June 30th of 14, to take all of the space back to where our storage room is. In other words, that front door area over there yeah. and the large open space that's an office space directly adjacent to that front door. And there is a pass-through window there, which makes a wonderful service window for anybody who walks in. Um, and if we were to negotiate for that space for July 1 next, for one year, it would make it very easy to consolidate a number of operations into this building for one year. It what? would be only one year. How much more money are we talking about? It hasn't about? really been discussed yet. Not substantially more, but okay. not for free. Not substantially more. Sounds like it. And we have to do Something this to relatively into. soon because we our lease expires June 30th. Right. I have a open dialogue with the business agent for the landlord that we will reach some conclusion by April 1st. That, that answers your question, April 1st. Because, frankly, we will have to decide in the next 30 to 45 days. He has every intention of advertising the space we're sitting in July 1st, starting April 1. If we haven't signed a lease, he'll evict us because we are no longer tenants. <laughs> well, maybe we then where? Try to get it to <laughs> then we all move down to Sue's office. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody at three schools. All down. Sue. So, <laughs> um, well, I just had a question. You said you wanted to wait or talk to Carol Harris. What about 3 Elm Street? Is that only being used by yeah. the CERT right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a waste. Well, if you're going to have, I mean, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, is that yeah, a yes? 
I think so. I think they're the only ones. That's that so you've got this big building. I mean, couldn't they somehow consolidate into two school streets somewhere? I think or Jeff and I had even, actually discussed that I at mean, one point. I mean, you could easily move. I mean, you've got planning board with two empty desks now. Couldn't you move building over with building planning? Yeah. Makes yeah. sense, right? I mean, at so least start moving on, get one building before you, while you're negotiating or talking with Carol Harris, yeah. at least get one building closed up and people moved. Well, I didn't say we were going to negotiate with Carol. I just said I wanted her opinion. That's all. Yes. The only problem I see with moving cert more than one time is that people will get confused about I where the center is. Are they going to eventually stay at school street? They're only going to be moving once. They're going to stay at school street, are yeah. they not? I think so. Yeah, I, I they're going to meet with fire. Idea. That would make yeah. sense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 As far as people being concerned, on a daily basis, I have to direct somebody who comes into the health department to another department on a daily basis. Yeah. And generally, they either have to go to the, the clerk or come over here. Oh, or, yeah. oh welcome to my world. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> We're first going to wrestle with you. So how much additional space is that, Jeff? Space is where? Back here. How much yeah. additional space is that? Uh, it's about uh, 35, 40% more than we currently have. Okay. Maybe half, maybe upwards of 50% more. Okay. You're being generous because I don't think there's that much. I don't think there's that much either. Sure. Oh, that big room? There's one, one the, big room. The two additional rooms, the two large rooms back there plus some of the smaller rooms, there's not, I don't think there's that much square footage. Uh. Get your ruler. Yeah. <laughs> well, people could yeah. could do with a smaller space than they used to for a little yeah. while. I mean, that that's not a really big issue. Yeah. But what, what, what I, <laughs> let, me, let me just talk about smaller spaces. In talking with our new town accountant, we already, we already he believes he has the, the best premier office. <laughs> office in the world. <laughs> In, in relation to his he other places that, that he maintains his offices. He said this is one the best is in the cellar and one is in a much smaller <laughs> office. He thinks he is in mana heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so you. Seeing as Will already brought up the $163,000, I mean, I think we really need to think it. We're going to have 2014, we're going to have layoffs of office staff. We're going to have everybody losing more hours. I think we better start thinking of where, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cert, but come on, a whole building when that could yeah. save somebody's job? Yeah. You know? I mean, are we Lived thinking this way? How often are they there? I didn't know they were moving to the other building with the with the yeah. fire. Yeah. I didn't know that. They could. They could, yeah. How, yeah. how often are they there? He's there almost every day. He's in Florida most what? of the time. Well, well not, obviously not while he was in, while he was in Florida. <laughs> I think we should yeah. All right, let's. Is there every day? Any other old business? All right, new business. Uh, first is to appoint Mr. Dennis to the Board of Assessors until the election in May. Uh, I'll read the letter. To the Board of Selectmen. The Board of, Select, uh, Board of Assessors met on Wednesday, January 2nd, 2013, at the irregular meeting. A discussion took place regarding the vacancy on the board since Daniel Keeney resigned to take the town treasurer position. Wilfred Dennis, a retired longtime assessor, expressed interest in helping the board and town by filling the position until the annual town election. The board recommends appointing Mr. Dennis as an assessor until the election and would like the board to, of selectmen to uh, also support this. I don't see why not. I need the Oh, huh? I make a motion to appoint um, Wilfred Dennis um, for the unexpired term um, for Board of Assessor. Until the main election. Until the main election. So I don't know if that's Second. the seat that's up this year or not. Oh. Okay, it's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Did he leave already? We're in front of you. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> you moved. You were back there. Yeah. Well, you were back there. No. so quiet coming out. I know, huh? Like a ninja. No. <laughs> <laughs> a sneaky a blue ninja or a green ninja? <laughs> All right. Um, so we have a motion to, and you're willing to do this, obviously. Yeah. Do you know if it's Dan's seat that's up this year? Yeah. Uh, I think so. You think so? I think so, okay. Because yeah. that would work out nice. We'd only have to move yeah. one. 
All right, so we have a motion. Any discussion or questions? Do you have anything to say? Well, I only have one thing to say. Sure. The letter says it all. Okay. I would hope that everyone realize how important this position is. And I hope that someone in our community comes forth to run for the position. Because it's a very important position. The assessor's office covers a tremendous range from abatements to excise taxes to getting the tax rate set. On top of it, they have to go to school. It's one of the few elected offices where going to school is mandatory because if you don't go to school in a certain period of time, you can be an assessor. So it's a very important position and I think the town has been very, very fortunate in the past years for the amount of work that has been done at what expense it is. So I think that it's a very important thing for everyone to be aware of. And I'm very glad to do as much as I can to support. I was on the board with Mr. Henshaw, uh, cognizant of the work that's being done. I'll do everything I can to support. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so we have a motion that's been seconded to uh, appoint Wilfred Dennis to the assessor's board until the main election. Uh, Pat? Yes. Virginia? Yes. Julie? Yes. And I will also vote yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Next thing I have is action on Sunday live entertainment licenses. We have two of them. Uh, one is for, uh, I believe, the Candlelight Cafe, and the other one is for. Yeah, I didn't write it in, but it's for the yeah, money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> And this is to, just a, for the full year of Sunday entertainment licenses. Live entertainment licenses of a town only go to Saturday at midnight. Right. They want to have entertainment after Saturday midnight. Mm -hmm. They have to go through the state and apply for this certain license right here. Okay. To be open after the Sunday morning. Oh, no. That's not what it says on here, though. This says it's for Sundays, begin not before 1 p.m. in the afternoon. It doesn't say anything about after midnight on Saturday night. At least that's how I'm reading it. This is just for like Sunday afternoon, Sunday, Sunday evening. Sunday live entertainment starts at 12:01 a.m. Sunday. Sunday. It doesn't say that on the way. It doesn't. It's not what it says in there, but. The first line, it says, yeah, such entertainment will not commence before 1 p.m. Must be Sunday afternoon. Right. That has nothing to do with Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's how it is. I've done them before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what it says. So. The Sunday, though, starts at 12.01. Right. And Midnight. It goes, right. Okay. It goes all the way till 1 p.m. on Sunday. That's the Sunday live entertainment license through the state. No. Mm -hmm. okay. It doesn't say that on here. No. So it I'll, I'll make a motion to approve these um, live entertainment licenses for um, Candlelight and Red Onion for Sundays in 2013. If there's an issue of the state, we should have one. Do I have a second? Does well, the name of the place isn't even on this one. It's been there. It's been there. It's been there. Got that right. All right. Um, any discussion? What's the live engine? Pat bands. Pat bands. <laughs> no, it just says live entertainment. From 12.01 a.m. to 1 p.m.? Yes, that's, um, I don't think that's right. Yeah, see, I don't know. 
why would they want live entertainment on Sunday at 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning? It's it's Church. to go over from Saturday it's night. It's called leftovers. So if you but want to go to like 2 in the morning, right. you have to do to stay the open right. okay. until 2 a.m. All right, gotcha. Uh, 2 a.m. Uh, sure. That's a preacher. Before huh? 1 2 a.m. No, the license to, a bar is licensed to stay open until 2 a.m. But if they want to have a band after midnight, the cutoff is midnight Saturday night. If they want to have that band continue to play until 2 a.m., 1 a.m., whatever, they need, they need this license to, that goes through the state. Right. It's not offered by us. So that's what they want this for, a late night, Saturday yes, night. Of course. Yeah. Just is there another form, maybe? Right, yeah. right. 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 but is there another yeah. form yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. says it's a different? I just don't want to vote on it without with this. I know, and Gardner. The Gardner board votes for that. So the clubs to vote for the two. Yeah, and that's fine. I, I would understand that, but the that's first line says. of this doesn't say that. It says it only starts at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah. That's, that's probably a typo, but I'm sure, I'm sure what they want is to hold the tool. Is it easier for them to have a license and not use it than the other way around? So just sign it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just sign it. <laughs> They'll sign it. Well, if they don't need it, then it's irrelevant. But if they do need it, they're covered. Yeah. But I'm just, if, I'm afraid that this isn't going to cover them for <laughs> what's all, That's their problem. Just sign it. That's their problem. That's their problem. Just sign it. First of all, first of all really? there's a law that prevents a club right. there's a town from law. opening up on a Sunday until 1 o'clock. Right. Right. That law is good. They can't. Right. Dave? Who makes those laws? This is from the state. The state. No, I mean, who, who yeah. fills it in? Oh. When they request... Well, they, I know, they fill this out? Did they fill this out or did you fill it out? I fill this out and then once it's approved, you sign it. And then I send it to the state to pay the phone to the school and send it back. Yeah. All right. So we have a motion and it's been seconded, right? Yes. Any other discussion? Yes. My license, they'll find out soon enough. You, you can approve it and tax it. <laughs> well, they're paying for it. How much? They pay, they pay $100. hundred dollars. So hundred bucks. It's hundred dollars to the Commonwealth. So, oh, it's for the Commonwealth. We don't get any. And then it's ten dollars for us before one. Can you write license? Find out soon enough. Okay. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Get a couple of bucks too. All right, Pat. Yes. Virginia. Yeah. Okay. And do it. Yes. Yeah. Well, if that first part was there first, it would. <coughs> okay, the last thing on our new business is uh, performance contract and three stones. I am. Um, had a request for this. I've requested it a few times. Um, my reason for requesting this is not to do this instead of the CPC grant. I yeah. totally support the CPC application. Um, I would have made the motion or supported it if I hadn't. You made the motion. Okay. I, I do support that. But you never know what's going to happen at town meeting. No one ever knows what's going to happen at town meeting. So there could be a group of people who feel that that amount of money from CPC would be objectionable. Okay, 550, I think, what do they have, 60? <coughs> or that was the estimate that I, I last checked. So there could be objections raised on that. I don't want to see the project at East Templeton fall by the wayside because at May, at the last minute, we find out that the town doesn't actually support this idea. Or they support the idea, but they don't want to spend that much money. So I thought concurrently, if the board would vote to go for an RFP for East Templeton, we would have another plan, a plan B, in case something happened at town meeting. So that's why I would ask the board to vote to do an RFP for performance contracting just for East Templeton at this point. I don't think we have enough resources to do I'm sorry, I, I'm not. 
very knowledgeable about RFPs. What does that get request us? For it's a request for proposal, so they come in and they tell you okay. what they would do. They would go in and inventory the building, do some historical data and analysis, and find out what it would cost to bring it up to so that we could use it as town offices. Just in okay. conjunction with that, when I did talk to the gentleman, he, uh, I'm going to be supplying him with some basic information that I've got from the school on what it costs to heat that building on a regular basis and also the electrical utilities on a regular basis. I haven't gone to the water department to ask that question, but that's, that's another area that has to be addressed. Those, those are the pieces of data that they need in order to make a proposal. Okay. Right. But um, this is to put out an RFP for companies that do performance contracting to look at East Hamilton. Will the performance contracting, would that include our handicap ramps and yeah. all that? It could include as much or as little as you want. I'd okay. say do the whole thing. What is it going to take for us to move into East Templeton as an office building? And just put the RFP out there and then we'd be able to compare figures anyway. And it would be a backup plan. That's my proposal. I think at this time, I mean, it's January now, we have to come up to a decision what we're going to do by April 1st for this building. We're not going to know what town meeting is going to do until May. Right. So I just <coughs> think it's, it's another course. It's an option. I don't think it's very expensive to do. Um, the RFP, I don't think, will cost that much. Um, the proposal, once they come in, they may ask you for so much per square foot, like seven cents a square foot, to do the actual proposal itself. So, um, the sooner we get it going, yeah, I've got quite a bit of information that I've, yeah. I've gleaned off of. How many square feet do we have here? <laughs> 10,600. <laughs> Roughly. Yes. How much money is left in the preservation account? Oh, a lot. Jesus Christ, yeah. What did you say? After, before you should take that money out. I thought it was. I thought we had for all four categories. There was a total of six hundred and eighty, but I'm not sure if those numbers are correct. No, Actually, so I mean, more than that. We're doing the tomb and this. Right. Well, hasn't been you know, I'm just saying. I, are they going to have money left for other things? And don't forget, when money won't. comes in every year. I know it does. I right. realize. And just, we get, so just, we get to also address that. The last time that I asked the previous accountant, okay, the previous accountant, I was told. That there was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the account. Since that time, October, the state ended up providing to us, from what I heard from the conservation preservation, and don't quote me exactly, around ninety thousand dollars was a state reimbursement. That so sense. that would mean to me somewhere in the excess of eight hundred thousand dollars. That's what I was that's going to be not very necessarily a match. That, that will be that will be verified the by the present accountants close. as to what the actual amount is because when I talked to the chairman of the conservation uh, preservation committee, he is has a meeting on the seventeenth, which is yeah, Thursday. Thursday, to meet with the accountant and go over those figures, and I, I believe the accountant is already aware of that request. Yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. You know. and, and it's broken out, just so that everybody understands. The four categories each has 10%. So, the, so that's basically 60%. For any one other category, you can get as much as 75% of what's left over of the 60% towards that particular project. I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> That's not our job. We don't just sign up. We'll check it. Got it. I got it well. But I, I would it. like to make a motion that we go for more. Um, an RFP to pursue performance contracting at East Templeton Elementary School. Second. Okay. Any other discussion? Yes, Jeff. What do you mean? We, Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Tom, I'll be working with Will, but I, you know, there's budget, special town meeting. I've got about 500 things. And so this is important. I don't be glib about it, but I could use some help. That's all. I just need a little help. I will provide as much as I can end up giving because of between the two projects. Volunteers, welcome. 
Okay. Any other comments? Seeing none. Patrick? Yes. Virginia? Yes. And Julie? Yes. All right, does anybody else have any other new business? Sue? Um, are we doing anything about setting a date for the special town meeting? Not tonight. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, if, if I may, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, I expect at the next meeting, which is two weeks from tonight, we will have a uh, draft warrant for consideration, a proposed date for consideration, and perhaps the board actually voting a town special town meeting date and time. Two, two weeks from tonight. Well, we and, I, and roughly late February, if you want to pick up you know, March 1, it'll be somewhere we had a discussion. Yeah. That first week of March seems to be a very great target date for a very short special town meeting that'll have two or three articles and three, two or three motions to move the money from here to there, take a vote on a rescission, take a vote on expansion, and done. Do we have to put this out to other boards to propose anything for this special meeting? Yeah, if you open the warrant, sure. If you open a warrant, they can certainly propose something for the warrant. It have to be a pre-pound meeting, naturally. We have, we have to open it for two weeks, correct? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So it's open for two weeks, and then there's two weeks for the first So that's why you get the first of March. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We open it the 28th of January. It okay. closes the 28th of February, give or take. <laughs> No, close. I mean, so it closes 14. two weeks later. Two weeks later. Two weeks later. Yeah. 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 It takes a month. Yeah. 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 So your tape ran out, and we had a vote while you were gone. Good. Congratulations. I deny it. <laughs> yes. Any other questions? Well, just just one. As my wife always says, I, I don't necessarily hear everything that's gone by here. I, I'd like to just back up. Maybe I missed it. It is about the report I closed out of the 250th committee. Yep. We did that. You did it? Yep. Okay. Jeff, that was Again, I, I missed something. That was the first thing Jeff talked about. Okay, I, I missed it. It was right after you were done. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I thought she already sent letters to everybody. I think she did, but in your reports, when do they do? First of February. Yeah. Yeah. So any any uh, commissions or of departments that are here, in your reports are due the first of February to Kate. I think you're going to have to do it for the board of selectmen because you've been here continuously over the year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. German. It's on you this year. Okay. What do I have to do? I'll give you last year's. Yes. The personnel board meeting schedule for this Thursday is postponed. Okay. The personnel board for Thursday has been postponed. We will not have a quorum and therefore it will be postponed, so I'll coordinate that. Are you meeting tomorrow night? It's on my list here. Uh, oh no, that's advisory no, board tomorrow no, night. No, we're yes. no, you mean tomorrow night? Elementary building. Right, elementary yeah. building yeah. tomorrow night. Planning board's not tomorrow. Planning board's not tomorrow. Okay. Wednesday night. Advisory board's Wednesday night. Wednesday. Personnel's canceled. CPC is Thursday at 5 30. I'm assuming that's at Scott Hall. No, it's here. It's here? Those are all here. Do you have the next meeting? Next what? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Doug, when's the next senior center meeting? When's the next oversight committee meeting? The um, 23rd, I believe it is. It's the two weeks from Wednesday. Yeah, yeah it's a Wednesday. Okay, back to Bob, it says Wednesday. Yeah, but we don't meet here. Yeah, um, senior oversight doesn't meet here. Oh. oh, I've got it written down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, I missed the meeting. So I'm glad right. you asked. Conservation is Thursday the 24th, and then where the 28th? Nobody else has anything? I'll take a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Give a second. Second. Pat? Virginia? Yes. Yes. Motion to second. Yes. Thank you. Working on the